Hi, I'm Joe. Some of my friends call me Butterflies in Space Joe, and others call me Joe Butterfly. I'm a big space enthusiast, and I'm also a big advocate for individuals with disabilities like myself who see the world differently. I have been diagnosed with autism. Being on the spectrum has been a blessing for me. I see the good in the people around me. I see the magic in the world around us. I see the potential we have as Earthlings. When I was younger, I was trying to find my own way. I was different from the other kids. I saw the imaginary real around us. The imaginary real is real. And there is no place that embraces the imaginary real like the space community. I encourage you to take a journey with me through the cosmos as I share breaking news from the space community. Let's go on this journey together. I can't wait to get started. I think it's important to begin our journey by understanding the views and perspectives, some of the pioneers who have transformed our world, by acknowledging there are unique individuals who have embraced the idea of the imaginary real, who have seen and experienced our world a little differently. You see, living on the autism spectrum can be very beneficial. Individuals like world-renowned environmental activist Greta Thunberg has called her gift her superpower. Technology maverick Elon Musk has not only pushed mankind to become an intersolar species, but has used his own superpowers to actually make this a real possibility through his company SpaceX, while also paying attention to climate issues by creating the Tesla electric cars. As I think about this, there have been many individuals who have pursued understanding the cosmos or have created disruptive technology who likely have been on the spectrum, but their diagnosis was premature because society didn't understand characteristics unique to autism. These individuals likely included Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton and Nikola Tesla and perhaps today may include Bill Gates who used his own superpowers to create Microsoft. You see, there have been many brilliant scientists who used their own unique superpowers to see, understand, and then share with the world many secrets of our universe while enhancing the human condition for all of us. And I guess that's part of my point, especially to those individuals who are watching that have been diagnosed with being on the autism spectrum disorder, commonly known as ASD. You may have some challenges, but you definitely have superpowers. And these superpowers, if you learn how to harness them, not only will allow you to have a wonderful life, but perhaps you'll do something like Greta or Elon or Big Al or Isaac or Nicola or Bill or so many others who have enriched the lives of so many earthlings. The key, I think, is to be patient and trust yourself and know you are not alone. In fact, you belong to a very unique community. So be proud of who you are. It's funny, but as I think of our universe and the possibilities of a multiverse, my thoughts immediately focus on Satoshi Tajiri, who used his own superpowers to create the imaginary real world of Pokemon. As a child, growing up somewhat isolated due to some of my own initial challenges of being on the spectrum, I sure was comforted engaging in the imaginary real that Satoshi created. I'm sure I'm not alone. Speaking of Satoshi, being on the spectrum can allow a person to tap into very creative superpowers. One of my favorite film directors is Tim Burton, who directed great films like Beetlejuice and Edward Scissorhands and Planet of the Apes and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, not to mention a few epic Batman films. From the literary world, many of us grew up with the great storyteller Hans Christian Andersen and the treasures he shared, such as The Emperor's New Clothes and The Little Mermaid. What do all these individuals have in common? They use their own unique superpowers to make the world a better place and share their unique perspectives at times to teach, comfort, explore, and enhance our lives. Aren't these qualities what we expect from superheroes? For those of you on the autism spectrum and for others who have a friend or family member or work teammate with ASD, remember having autism can be a superpower just like Greta shared and seeing the world or trying to understand 
our universe and our place in it requires all of us to see the world a little differently. So let's get to it. Let's begin exploring each week new and groundbreaking events in the world of space exploration. Hopefully, along the way, we will deepen our understanding that we're all Earthlings, all in this together, and one of the greatest qualities of being human is our ability to empower each other to be the best we can be. I would love to hear your comments and thoughts about this week's episode. And to all my friends on the autism spectrum, trust yourself, be patient, follow your dreams, and remember, you're not alone. Hey, I'm Joe Butterfly. Remember to be nice to one another. Bye for now.